Hello guys, this is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to this particular series of interviews, questions and answers. So as I was talking about the business analytics, interview questions and answers, I have come to this particular uh, wonderful technical question sessions. So we'll be talking about SQL and then we'll talk about some of the advanced SQL questions and then We'll have a lot of lot of a lot of videos on SQL, a lot of videos on Python, on Power BI questions, a lot of things. And after that, once w once these kind of videos are over, we'll also have one to one interaction with the real life business analysts who are working in different companies. We'll also have live interviews with them so that you understand more about the business analytics interview questions and answers as well. <laughs> So let's get started for this particular SQL uh, session. I have a, a dummy data set. This is how the data set looks like. I have customer ID, I have first name, I have last name, gender, age, city, contract type, churn. Now SQL questions are very common for data analytics roles. For business analytics roles also, uh, I think 70, 80% of the cases, they do ask SQL questions as well. And it's not just basic SQL, they will also ask you some advanced SQL questions. So in this particular video, we'll talk about some of the basic to intermediate level. And slowly as we proceed on with the next videos, we'll come up with some advanced SQL uh, sessions as well. Okay. So these are, this is how the data looks like. And uh, I have customer ID, I have first name, last name, gender, age, city, contract type, churn. And these are some of the questions that are present. Retrieve all the records from the table, retrieve two columns from a table, retrieve customers having age more than 25, so and so. So let's get started and try to answer each one of them. For that, I already have my MySQL workbench. I will just expand it a little bit. Okay, everything is done, guys. I I have already done a setup. I am using my test DB. <clears throat> okay. My creation of table is done, and then. I will be, see, this is how I have created the table, create table customers. You can see all the columns, customer ID, first name, last name, gender, age, city, contract type, churn, everything is there. And I have also inserted few of the records, exactly the same records, which I have mentioned here. I have already inserted the data. So we will, we will see how the data looks like. Select start from customers. Okay, now this is how the data looks like. You can see, you can see I have customer ID one till 10. All the data is there, Satyajit, Patnaik, M and all these things. So let's move ahead with the questions and let's try to solve each one of them step by step. Of course, some of the, some of the questions are really easy, but uh, we should always get started from easy and then move ahead to the advanced topics, right? So retrieve all the records from a table. Of course, we have already done that. Select star from table name. Okay. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm using MySQL. So some of the queries, if you are trying in Oracle SQL, they might not work, but it's going to be very simple, like minor changes between MySQL and Oracle SQL. Okay. Retrieve two columns from a table. Uh, let's say you, you you are asked about retrieve first name and last name from the table. So select first name, last name from customers. If I just enter, if I just enter, oh, something is wrong. One second. Okay, select first name, last name from customers. Is it case sensitive? It's quite weird. Why 
what's wrong oh i don't know what was what was wrong but anyways so select first name last name from table name that's it retrieve customers having age more than 25 so again as we already know select star from customers gives me what's wrong let me do this way I think there is some issue with the uh, uh, SQL, um, my SQL word, which is okay. So the next question is, retrieve the customers having age more than 25. Having age more than 25, so we will use where clause, where age greater than 25. Okay. And you can get the details of all the customers whose age is greater than 25. Similarly, retrieve the customers having age more than 25 and who are from Mumbai. So where age is greater than 25 and city equals to Mumbai. Okay, let me let me write down separate queries so that you understand where age is greater than 25. And then for the next question, it will be and city equals to Mumbai. Okay. So there are two records, customer ID two and customer ID nine. Don't go with the names. These are some of my friend's name, my mom's name, but it's okay. Retrieve customers having age more than 25 or churn as Y. So what would be the answer? Instead of and you will be using or, or churn equals to y so that means either or like both anybody who's satisfying this condition or this condition okay i don't have to explain you about or and and operator it's quite obvious right retrieve customers having age between 15 and 35 so how to do that from customers having age between 15 and 35 so there could be there could be two options to do this select star from customers having age sorry where age between 15 and 35 this will also work and another command will be where customers where age between 35 and uh, 15 and 35 right so where age is greater than 15 and age is less than 35 should work not pretty sure okay yeah so anyways both the question both the queries will work but yeah it's good to use the between command as well so it will directly give you a range of the age and quite easy retrieve the customers staying in delhi and mumbai so what will be the answers select star from customers where city equals to delhi and mumbai mumbai or city equals to delhi okay this is one of the options but when it comes to one particular column and you are looking out for multiple values of it it's better to use the in operator Okay, so where city in Mumbai, Delhi. So all the customers who are staying in Mumbai and Delhi will be shown here. Find the total number of records in the table. Total number of records can be found using the count star keyword. Count star from customers it will give you total number of customers in the table 
okay so there are 10 customers now if you want to find find the total number of customers who are staying in mumbai where city equals to mumbai see these are very basic questions and if you don't answer these questions interviewer will not move on to the advanced topics because these are going to be very basic questions you have to understand each one of them try and then you you are you are free to go towards the advanced topics the next question will be insert a customer to the table of course insertion i have already showed you this is how you have to insert i'll just copy this so insert into customers let's say 11 let's say mr uh, something virat kohli sorry kohli m let's say 28 and i will insert it now insertion is done now let's say i'll calculate the count earlier the count was 10 let's see what's the count right now it should be 11 and it is 11 right so we have a new customer here which is virat kohli right whose id is 11 this one okay similarly update the customer details as churned whose customer id is 7 so in case you are asked to update something based on some values let's say here it's asked update the customer details as churned that means update which table customers set churn equals to y it's it's telling that update the customer as churned whose customer id is 7 where customer id equals to 7 so this is how your update will work okay something is wrong okay so basically for update you just have to use the safe update option which is this is just just in the case of my sql uh probably in oracle sql you don't have to do it safe updates equals to 0 and then and then you can update it okay updation is done and usually when it comes to again oracle sql after updation we usually commit so you can also commit it my sql is basically auto commit so that's fine find the minimum and maximum age from the list of customers now obviously minimum age is basically uh, minimum age from customers this will give you the minimum age and similarly maximum age will give you the maximum age okay but if you are told can you find the customer data the customer id and the customer name along with like the like whoever is having the minimum age i want the customer details how to do that little bit tricky but it's going to be very easy as well select star from customers where age equals to select mean age from customers so if i do this you can see madhumita banerji gender f age 12 so what i'm doing is select star from customers so i'm getting the customers data where age is equivalent to the minimum age so here i'm passing the select query so that's the reason i told you we are slowly moving towards the basics to the intermediates then we'll go to the advanced topics as well so this is how it is done and in case you want both the records of the minimum age and the maximum age you can probably change this to age in that means so it will give me both the records so ravi kumar having the highest stage and madhumita having the lowest stage so accordingly you can move ahead and try to think of questions in your head and try to play around with it it's all about trying and failing and then succeeding right so this is just with one table of course when it comes to two tables three tables joins inner joins a lot of questions will come up so i will come up with a lot of videos in future 
for the time being uh, okay we also have one uh, one uh, one uh, uh, question one use case from one of the fan companies so uh, this is just uh, i would say just kind of a teaser okay I'll, I'll just talk about one question but as i told there will be a lot of advanced topics so we'll we'll come up with all these kind of things okay so this is one of the questions being asked in one of the facebook interviews uh, to a nine years experienced person who was applying as a data analyst role. So he's one of my friend. Well, I am also having nine years experience, but this is not, this was not my interview. It was for one of the data analyst roles, I think senior data analyst or something. And he was asked a lot of probability questions, a lot of uh, scenario based questions. But when it comes to X SQL, this is the question which he was asked. So no, no data was given. It's basically a coder pad round of uh, interview. They provide. They have. They had given this type of question, so you can think of the data in your head and come up with the output. It's not mandatory. They will not run the code, but you just have to be logically. You have to be correct. Okay. Mm -hmm.